Besides, you're going to need the sniper rifle for um, these last parts. Well, at least in my opinion, you're going to need the sniper rifle. So, here we go. Up the mountain trail leading to Kong. Not to mention the sniper rifle ammo here, so it just only makes sense to take the sniper rifle. So, here we go. I got paranoid because I don't know if it's this particular region or if it's the lighting or what, but these bats look like way worse than they did before. I don't know. I might, I might just be wrong. I might just be paranoid because of how the lighting works on this level, but enemies aside, I actually do kind of like this particular area. Um, Kong's lair. It's it's kind of nice. Except for fact that that should not have even worked. But a nice uh, hollow point to the head ought to take care of that. And I don't know why I'm even considering this, but I see what looks like it might be a safe spot behind the waterfall. If that bat could get me right there in the water, the veil of water uh, in front of that little, um, in front of that indention is nothing to that. So, whatever. Uh, it doesn't even matter. Let's just get up here and try some more stuff. See, that's, that's not cool, dude. You just have to listen for their screeches, and that'll let you know before they even show up that here they are. Now, the way to take these things out while they're feeding like that is to aim for the neck. I mean, I know, you know, Sniper Instinct says aim for the head, or aim for the wing, but that's nothing. That's not really going to take them down. What you want to do is aim for the neck. I mean, I don't know, um, post a comment if there actually is another way to take them out other than shooting them in the neck. Yeah. Or taking a spear in the head. I mean, that didn't happen right there, but still. It looks like I shot this guy in the foot. I don't know, I guess it's just that the hit detection is weird. Here comes some more. So, notice how they do a kind of stealth swoop, you know, and they come up. Do you think that they would come up like about a meter, you know, uh, before, uh, before that cliff edge? Instead, no, they come up at the cliff edge just to make you even more paranoid. And I think that's what screwed me up around the end of the game. So now I'm just trying to take them out. I've already made two of them mad. So it's one. I need to reload, so I'm just going to fly downstairs right quick. Come back up. Ready to go. No problem. Here's another one. And he took a spear to the head. Jeepers Creeper style. These beds just, they're persistent. But so am I. Look, there's two of them flying together. Okay, I didn't do anything. Okay, I got him. I don't even know how I managed to do that. And I'm not even using the scope. But I do know that I'm actually wasting rounds right now. I'm just trying to, you know, look out for my own safety take precautions and take them out early. That's a mistake. I mean, it helps, but you have to do it right. I hear someone feeding. I don't have
have that one channel thing going on this time. I don't know what that was. Okay. Come here. Come here. Okay, it didn't kill him. That's not good. Oh well. Shot to the face always works. I see another guy over there just mindlessly feeding as he's programmed to do. And now he's going to fold up like he's programmed to do. I didn't kill him. I just I made him low. mad. It works better when they're kind of closer, but not all the way on you. I mean, it's not like you're using the shotgun, you're using a sniper rifle. So, range is the key, but still, man. Let me reload right quick. I've got one more clip and one shot left. And I just know that there's going to be something else. I mean, come on. This is this is water. Most of the time you have to do a mega pH, right? Okay, that sounds big. I wonder what this could be. Oh yeah, this part. Yeah, this part is always fun. Man. I did um I did a really, really weird run um, and I didn't record it too bad because I wanted you guys to see it. Um, it it was just amazing how I pulled it off I'll explain it when I get to that part but basically you have another one of these big car tourist kind of guys lumbering around and you have a case of ammo over there where I'm pointing So basically, what you can do is you can actually try and kill him now, but it takes a lot of shots. You don't necessarily have to, because on that crazy run that I was talking about, what I did was there's um, little bait creatures behind you. Excuse me. And so what you can do is you can actually get one of those on a spear, chuck it, he'll go after it. And then what you do is you run down to that little um, that little haven over there to the right, right there, and he won't be able to get to you. Then you can get up there, and you can get your, um, you can get more ammo, and then just cut across down there. Fortunately, this door only has one lever. Four bullets on backup. And there's another one. This is why I mentioned the method that I just did. Because you don't have a lot of bullets right now. I only have one bullet left. But yeah, that method really works. I mean, you can kill the first guy, but basically, yeah, you need to distract this guy. So you can get down there, get the other uh, case of ammo, and just basically make your way back up. Oh no! Oh, I'm dry. And now my spears. So you really have to make everything count. I think I said at the beginning of the LP. Watch, near the end, I'm going to be out of ammo, and I'm going to be confused and not know what to do. Turns out I was right. Those look like dragonflies, I'm pretty sure they are. Um, but basically, you run down here, if you're doing my method right now and being stupid, so you bash that open, run up here, there should be a crate and some more spears. And there are bats. There are bats. Several. Okay, now it looks like, yeah, he's going to feed on him, and I'm going to try and snipe. Dang, I didn't snipe him. Okay, oh well. Um, fortunately, they can't jump up here anyway. I'm serious, I don't know why, but I just feel like I'm compelled 
to kill these guys. Like, that's what I'm supposed to do. And you don't have to kill everything. You can actually just run by a bunch of stuff. Unless you're doing, um, the... After you've beaten the game, and they give you, like, a little scoring mode. Where you have to replay levels and, you know, basically compete for top score against predetermined high scores. Basically, your goal is to get either 250,000 points or more. And I'll explain more of that uh, the closer we get to the end of the game because, well, you know, that's when it's more relevant because, well, it's part of the bonus content that you unlock. Now, here's the fire. This is why you need to get over here. Because, well, there's bushes over here that you need to burn. So that you can get over there. There are two sets of stairs. It doesn't matter where you come in. Either from here or from that area that you just came from. Now, that part that I was talking about. There was another Carnotaurus thing. And I have Flaming Spear and I threw it. And it hit him in his side. And he fell over. Well, actually what happened was he moved over. And he lit the bushes on fire for me. Okay, so here are some spiders, another bat. Conveniently, I just killed that bat right in a place that where the spiders would go for him. You need to move, thank you. And just take that right quick, and I'm not taking any chances. I'm just going to run for it because I don't know if something else is going to respawn and try and kill me, I'd just rather just come on and go. Now I said that there was a case of ammo. There is, it's just I forgot to get it. I could have swore there was a case of ammo over there, it's just I was like freaking out because I ran out of bullets and I killed a bat with a flaming spear and distracted spiders with it. But anyway, here's a case here with the dramatic heroic music. One that and now you have five shotgun rounds. One magazine on backup. I don't know why I did that. But we'll be continuing. As usual, as soon as we bust this down.